the reality that we live in is always melting the outside. But our problem is that from the inside, we're creating new levels of ice because we want to continue to stay numb. We want to continue to stay hidden. We want to continue to stay frozen. And so the world is heating up every day. Ridiculous. Like we are going through a heat wave, heat wave. We just 400K, like heat wave, right? Think of data as, as friction that's melting that ice and it's melting it fast. And in order for us to upkeep the lie that we are, we have to make ice faster than it's being melted. And that's causing us to spend all of our resources to upkeep a lie, which is causing us to get sick, causing us to get angrier, having shorter fuses, feeling fatigued, all those things are because we're trying to upkeep something. We're designed not to be a block of ice. We're designed to be a stream of information that flows through space and time, able to jump into any moment perfectly. I call it the master games player, but it's really up to anyone to name what that is. That highest level of outcome is the ability not to be frozen, but rather able and available for anything. And the key to that is to find what's not true, acknowledge what's not true, and then let it go. That way it doesn't reabsorb. One of those biggest indicators is judgment. Anytime, no matter what it is, like if you catch yourself, and this can be looking back at life, but if you catch yourself judging something, doesn't matter what it is, that's not you in acceptance. And when you're not in acceptance, you start to form a reality that isn't the reality you want. Now, again, for, for those of you that are new, acceptance and agreement are different, right? I don't have to agree with something to accept it. I can accept that anger is present. That doesn't mean that I agree with anger. I can now work on my issue with anger. I can now work on my issue with control. I just have to acknowledge it. And this thing where we have to jump on our sword and overly acknowledge it so that people can understand us, that's the opposite. So if I go, hey, guys, just so you know, I'm a control freak, and these are the things that I, I have problems, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to get you to understand me. That's what we call false expression. And it's a form of vampirism that pulls your attention into my game so that I feel validated. The reality is the only way I'm ever going to feel validated long term is internally. The belief is that there's enough attention externally to fill the void within me. So all I have to do is keep grabbing at it. But the reality is that's not true. There isn't any, there's not an amount of attention in the world that will fill the void. What's actually really true and crazy is the more attention that you take from others, the bigger the void gets. It's a form of addiction. And it's also a frozen part of you. A part of you needs the attention, aka the warmth of other people's value, to melt away a belief. But that same heat that you're looking for can come from within. That power of validation, self-validation is the brightest fire. It will melt things so fast. You won't be able to upkeep it because it costs a lot of resources. But when you find yourself needing external validation, find that part of you and begin to talk to it. Begin to work with it. Help it to heal so that it can become its own fire source. Because the goal is to melt yourself out of that block, not to recreate that block. 